Okay, so just going to go through the new Scorch Quick Release S, I guess it's going to be called. Um, and that's because we put the um, on off switch on the side there. So on the previous model, it was um, touch screen to turn it on and off. So this model doesn't have that. But what you do have is the, um, the button on the side there uh, to turn it on to low and then turn it on to high and go high, low, high, low, like so. It's um, more user friendly, I suppose, for those people that, I know some people like to turn their light on and then just put it on full power, then forget about it and then change the battery. But some people don't want to buy another battery and they want to conserve the, uh, the battery power. So um, best way to, to do that, obviously, is by um, toggling in between high and low power. And that will obviously just extend your runtime and you're only on full power when you need it. Some other changes that we've made, the uh, helmet bracket's been modified. It's kind of reversed it in a way. So the old bracket, if you've got the old one, it won't fit this one. And again, it's on a sprung loaded pin system there. Um, that just presses down. There's um, three dimples in there. So you slide it in like that. When you get round to the, the ball bearing, you need to just press it down so that it comes round and then it just click in position. Again, quick release battery. Um, three slots around there, three slots in the battery. You must remember it is a plug-in system, so it's push-pull. If you twist it, uh, there's a good chance that you're gonna break it. It's a very intricate little system in there that does all the alignment for making sure it goes back in a, in a straight line. Um, so do not twist it. You just screw that up like that. And then when you've got a new battery on for the first time, you press it, you let it do its diagnostics, and then you then press it again, comes on low, comes on high, and then you're ready to go. There is a little bit of a hack to this one, and that's why I've used this battery. Uh, some of you would know that um, if you use your Scorpion rear light, the Scorpion rear light will fit into the back of this, giving you a bit of extra long run time. So if you've got the Scorpion, you can do that, but it doesn't work the other way around. Uh, the Scorch battery won't fit in the... Um, uh, the uh, Scorpion uh, holder and that's because it doesn't have the, the slot in the back there so that's why I've used this battery just showing you that you can use it uh, we'll do some weights on it as well so you might as well just weigh the whole thing so 116 grams and then well, I might as well do the whole thing together so 145 grams bracket light everything uh, reason for the screw-in battery get asked that a lot it's basically uh, I mean we, we originally did it for the 24 hour sort of racing people not wanting to use the charging systems and that and just be able to be self-sufficient now the gravel riders are using it a lot more they're going on longer rides um, and they'll keep a spare one there uh, three volt um, power supply USB um, charging lead comes with it so it's a USB charger on that lead there and you just literally just plug it into there and that will start charging for you so that gives them really sort of flexible usable um, gravel light there um, I think I'm just going to get the the Gabriella and show you that as well So this is the Gabriella, and a lot of people ask me about this. I know it's more lightage, but you know that is too big to put on the on the crash helmet. And, and, and really, the, as a size comparison for you, uh, Scorch um, is um, a lot lot smaller, a lot lot lighter. So really, don't recommend that going on the crash helmet. It's too heavy. It's going to wobble and, and, and shake around. So that is the difference between the, the, the two lights. I do get asked that a lot, and uh, that's why we don't recommend that as a, a helmet light. So there you go.